Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today I am going to show you how to read data from your uh, MySQL database using servlet. So I need a read data from uh, MySQL so I need to create a database in MySQL. Just I am open my workbench. MySQL. Just creating. I have an uh, uh, database already Android app, and uh, here I'm creating a new table. Table name is users, and I need some column like name. Username. The next one is. Table is ready, so I just click on apply and apply again. So just check table here. Here is a table user users. Just uh, check here is a three column. First one is a name, user underscore name, and pass underscore name. So now what I need to I need to create a new web project on my NetBeans ID and click on files. Then I on new project and just select to the web application from here click on next and type your application name so app demo here next choose your servers i'm not using any from work so, so just click finish okay project is ready for me so i just need here only circulate for read data from my database so first of all I need to connect my database so if you are not know how to connect your database so just go on your services click on database and uh, here is uh, my MySQL server so just click on MySQL server here is my uh, database so just click on connect my database is already connected time to connect to database okay it's done now here is a link you can see after the connection android it so here are my end tables so if you want to view your table just right click and view data so this query is going to execute select a streak from users so here is a processing okay there is a three column in my table name username and pass i just need to insert some data here so if you want to insert your data just right click and insert the code the so first value is name demo one or you can take it as user one and user 42 Insert password into three four five six. I need to insert one more record. So just click on hydro and uh, user two, user forty three. Insert password anything you want. And just click on OK. So I have a two record on my table. And you can check your table from here also after okay now you can check here in your database the database is updated here is a true record in your table so just to go again on your android studio and uh, night beans and uh, go on your html so i need a servlet so just right click on your default package servlet so my servlet man is my register and don't forget this for configuration of your web.xml file just click finish okay now here i need to put my whole code so 
first of all I create an separate class for uh, database so I need a class not a separate java class so class name is my db let's click on finish ok here I need to write a method public this method type is connection get com the method name is get com so what I need I need to declare a variable connection type com just return a connection this method will return a connection so I need to import my connection ok so now class dot phone name for your driver connection driver next driver manager dot get connection so here you need to pass your database url here a string of your database username and database password in a third parameter so here is an error so i need to insert it in a try case block so i just click on surround try and get blocks and driver manager get connection also want and try so I need to add a catch ok that's fine so how it, uh, you pass your strings from here, here so just go again to your service and click on url link just on property and here you can see your driver name just copy it ok close and paste here and you need your database url again click on property this and copy your ok sorry my url is this one just click on property driver name is same so there is no problem but you need to copy until your um, database name only this just paste here the database id the database password ok my connection class is ready so just i need to go on my registration root java servlet and need an object of my db class db equals to new my db so i forget something here it will return a connection connection okay. and i also need connection cone equals to db dot get connection by method okay. now i need to import need to import connection ok now connection dot create statement ok at connect one dot create statement return as statement so statement before creating a statement I need to put um, cone.create statement in my try catch block so just add a try catch block and the next one is a statement as dmt equals to this I need to import my statement from a SQL package okay. so as dmt dot execute query string from my table name as users so it will return and result site result site result site which name is rs ok i need again import result site so ok my connection is done uh, i need to fetch data from my result site so rs dot get string for data input are 
use dot next. The next I need a string for storing my name value. So Here some parameter. Here is the, you need to pass some parameter. This parameter name user underscore name and pass. And check your database name, database uh, table column name. Like here my name user underscore name and user underscore pass. Okay, just I need to print the data. data servlet the next one is u name and the next one is pass so what if I can do it like this username this place username last one is pass so don't need to create this thing just I'm going to run my deploy my project before deploy your project you need to end uh, mysql connector so just go in property of your project and uh, go in your library section just add as alpha it so you need to mysql connector so I just add library of this so just check it So just check your output and here yeah, is a user one who is a 42 element to the device. I inserted two record but it's only one because I'm not using any loop here. So if you want to just uh, put this value in here by loop and check all the details. So thank you so much for watching. If you like please subscribe my channel for more video and continue your learning. Thank you so much. Please share video.